Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to my what I eat in a day video. This is a vegetarian based diet. It's not a diet. It's just what I eat on a day to day as a vegetarian. And I wanted to show you guys pretty much how I get all my protein in and some super easy meals that I've been having um, on the day to day. So I am showing you guys my breakfast, my lunch, um, all my snacks, my dinner, as well as like how I track my calories and my water and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm super excited to um, share with you guys because what you put into your body, it really shows it's super important, especially when you are, um, you know, into fitness, maybe working out. Um, what you put in is really going to drive the results that you're looking for, help you get there a lot faster. Um, and many people do think that when you cut meat out of your diet, um, you're not going to get enough protein. You're going to lose a lot of weight, um, which is totally not true. It's also easy to hit your macros on a vegetarian diet, um, not having too many carbs and stuff like that. So I just want to show you guys exactly how I do that, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna have my breakfast. Like I said, I wait until I'm like actually hungry to eat something in the morning, but I am going to make some egg whites with peppers and onions, one half of an avocado. This is a nectarine. And then over here I have my supplements. I normally also take a multivitamin, but I actually ran out, so sad. I have to go pick one up. Um, but I've been taking this fat burner. I am like almost done with it. I really love it. Um, I think I'm going to order it again. I'll probably see how I feel without taking it and then order it again. But I really love it. It's all natural. It has so many awesome things in it. I think it gives me like so much energy. And then I take this maca every single day. I literally love this. breakfast I have a half a cup or four ounces of egg whites here is my veggies that I sauteed this is one nectarine and one half of an avocado and right here now I have breakfast for the next two days so when I cook I always try to make at least three servings that way I don't have to spend my whole week in the kitchen I love adding avocado to my recipes, my breakfast, because the fat keeps you fuller for way longer. So I want to show you guys my seasoning hack for my rice. I always used to use the um, chicken bouillon cubes, but yeah, so since this is vegetarian and I don't eat meat anymore, I was really missing that flavor in my rice. So let me show you guys what I use. That's actually so much more beneficial for your health and really doesn't have all that much sodium because it's just seasonings and not the like pre-mixed kinds. Usually those are like super bad for you. So here it is. Okay guys, so it is time for lunch. I am going to have one serving of this brown rice one serving of each of these beans, so black beans and chickpeas. I'm having a half of a serving of this tuna and a half a serving of this tofu. So basically, I'm going to cook the rice separately once again so I can measure it out. I'm just gonna pretty much cook everything separately. Um, but cooking all these things, I'm gonna do one cup of rice, both of the beans, the tuna, and the tofu. It's going to give me four servings, so I'll be able to eat this for the next four days. So, like I said, for the breakfast, I really like to cook multiple servings of things. That way I'm not having to cook all week. 
And then I have some fruit over here. I'm gonna take this actually on the road with me because I'm heading out to the mall and to meet up with my friends. So yeah, this is gonna be my lunch. So to season the rice, this is just onions that I seasoned with turmeric, cayenne, cumin, and a little bit of black pepper. I think I put some pink Himalayan salt in there too, but this is what my rice is gonna taste like. It's way better than having plain. And then over here I have some cilantro. This is the tofu before it's cooked. Oh my gosh, don't mind this fork, it looks crazy. But the cilantro will go in when the rice is almost cooked, not in the beginning because that will preserve the freshness. So. This is how you get that natural flavor into your rice without all that sodium, GMOs, and animal products. And this is the tofu with tuna. It's a super random mix, but I'll get some protein and it tastes really good with the rice and the beans. I did forget to mention that there is some fish in this, what I eat today, so if you're completely vegetarian or vegan, you just want to keep that out. So this is my lunch, guys. It has 33 grams of protein. So this is going to be my last meal of the day. I just did a crazy workout, but I've just been eating salads for dinner because it's easily digestible and I have a bigger lunch like what I showed you earlier. So in my salad, it's going to be kale. And then I made these mixes over here. It is bell peppers, tomatoes, beets, snap peas, broccoli. And then I am going to put one of these veggie burgers on top. I got these at Whole Foods and each one has 25 grams of protein. That is a lot. And this is the dressing that I'm gonna put on top of the salad. So this should fill me up with some good nutrients after my workout. And yeah, I've really been loving having a salad before bed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this video helped you out. At the end of the day, I have about 1,700 calories with 120 grams of that being protein. Um, I do finish out my day with one scoop of this protein and a glass of soy milk. It just really helps me stay full throughout the night. This is not a vegan or a vegetarian protein, but it is slow digesting. Helps me stay full throughout the night and it really helps me with my sweet tooth. So I would super recommend this. And if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up so I can make more like this.